G'day, in exile here. Today we're going to learn iRacing livery basics in GIMP so you can have one of them sweet custom liveries. Uh, that's right, make sure you subscribe and throw the old thumbs up while you're there. But let's not waste any more time and jump straight into it. So you've got your livery open. Uh, the first thing we're going to do is turn off all the layers so we're only going to be working with the one layer that we want i already know what that is it's going to be the gt stripes so we'll lift that out of the patterns so we're not going to have any patterns under it the first thing we want to do is split all those different colors that will make this livery easier to change colors later and it will also allow us to add spec maps later so we're going to use one of the fuzzy tools, select red, and we're going to cut that out of there. Uh, blue actually, the other red. Uh, and then we're going to paste that into a new layer. We'll name that layer blue so we remember what it was. Uh, now we're going to cut green out of there. So same thing again, color select, select all, grab the green layer, now cut it. And paste it into a new layer, label that green so we remember what the green was. And now we've got three layers um, all ready to go like. So with them bad boys all named, we can start choosing our colors. So we're gonna go uh, the base color of white. This is so we can do some spit mac later and you'll see how to get those sweet shiny chromes. Uh, so once again select all, uh, fill all selections with white, Bob's your uncle, uh, same again on the next layer, so we'll flick over to the green layer, uh, we'll grab that and select all green, then fill that layer with black, that will end up being our matte, and for the blue we'll just go red. Um, so yep, select all, fill that whole layer with red. Just got to remember to chuck the red in there. And there we go. So we should be right to turn all those three layers on now. And that's going to give you pretty much what your base livery looks like. So we're going to export that bad boy. Uh, we export that into iRacing, so it'll be generally user, then documents, iRacing, paint, scroll down to the MX-5, uh, and then you're going to write car underscore your user number and TGA, export that bad boy. And there you have it. A nice uh, super basic livery, but we'll be able to uh, chrome that out and uh, map that out later when we do some spec maps in the next video. From there, you want to start adding some layers. You can either turn on um, all iRacing's uh, decals and throw them back on the car, or pretty much if you add a layer there, you'll be turning it on and off if you want to see it on the car. Once you export that, iRacing updates that immediately in the viewer ever since uh, season two, 2021. Uh, so we'll quickly chuck a logo on there. That's right, we'll chuck the YouTube subscribe on there. Uh, so if you found this helpful, make sure you do the old subscribe. Uh, just the moving tool and resizing tool should be good enough for that. Throw it down there on the door somewhere. A uh, quick little export. And you can have a quick look to see if your guess was right. You move that into position where you like it. So just a bit under the door handle there. Um, the next trick that you can use that we'll cover probably in a more in-depth video is how to use uh, all these masks, lines and wires and whatnot. So with sponsor blocks, that just shows you where the game would put the sponsor so you can move your decals into a similar area that should make it look pretty tidy do a quick little export and bob is your uncle there you go you've got your first decal on the car now 
uh, I think we made it. That was just under five minutes. And make sure you check out the new video or the next video for spec mapping that car. Cheers, fellas.